and it looks like this family was caught in the crossfire. Two black sedans were firing at each other, people inside those cars, and that family caught in the middle of all of it. Three people related to each other were sitting in a car simply having a meal when gunshots rang out, taking the life of a 12-year-old boy. And How often do we stop to eat in the car, especially when we have our kids with us? I can remember being a kid and like begging my mother, like, Mom, please, please, do we gotta wait till we get home? Do we gotta wait till we get home? So then your mother lay out like 1,500 napkins on your lap and you eat in your car. That's supposed to be a peaceful time. This is 12 year old Cade Lewin. Cool little dude, right? What else can we say about him but talk about his potential? I mean, he was 12 years old. He hadn't even lived his life yet. So the Lewin family wants to stop and get something to eat. They decide to eat in the car, and at the same time, two groups of niggas is out drilling, out in traffic. They spot the ops. And you know what happened when you out on a drill and you spot the ops, you got to up the metal on site. You can't go settle your differences. When you see the ops, you gotta shoot them on site, or they gonna shoot you. None of that makes sense to people like me and you. And none of that makes sense to Cade Lewin or his family. But that's the logic of these self-proclaimed savages and demons and killers in our community. And make no mistake about it, there's no remorse from the killers. Like the guys didn't go back, go back to the hood from this drill and be like, damn, we accidentally killed that little boy. Damn, I feel bad. No. No, none of that's happened. You know what happened? They charging that shit to the game. That's exactly how they phrasing this whole incident. These savages and these demons, they are like the Terminator. You can't negotiate with them. You can't plead with them. You can't do any of that. But when the police find them, if the police find them, because nobody's snitching, snitches get stitches. Snitches end up in news stories like this. And if the police find them and they do anything other than put the handcuffs on these killers, gently place them in the police car and give them a lawyer and a phone call, if they do anything other than that, if they push them, shove them, punch them, kick them, or do anything that we would want to do to these killers, if the police do that, then you'll be outraged. You won't be outraged for Cade Lewin. And when he gets shot in the head eating eating McDonald's or whatever in his car with his family. You won't be outraged over that. But if the police do anything to these pieces of shit to kill Cade Lewin, then you'll be outraged. You'll say their names if something happens to the killers. Say his name. Say Cade Lewin's name. Fuck the killers. An eight-year-old relative in the backseat, she was just inches away from being injured or worse herself. She has survived, but what she will deal with for the rest of her life is simply unthinkable. Police still here on the scene trying to pull together the clues. Mayor Eric Adams responding last night after the gunshots rang out shortly before 8 o'clock to make a vow that he will continue to try to make these streets safer for all. What about the innocent people? What about people that are sitting in their cars and they're shot and killed? What about people that are sitting in their cars and they're shot and killed?